Janelle Noble is one of 20 inspectors sacked by the Guyana Energy Agency. Today, the woman broke her silence to this news cast over the man in which she was dismissed. The 20-year-old from the mining town of Linden told Capital News that she now feels demoralized after she supposedly failed the lie detector test. Noble said she did the test voluntarily. She said the video camera was plugged up and she was asked personal questions. She was issued with her dismissal letter on April 26, but no part in her letter indicates that she was dismissed for failing the lie detector test. Noble said she was terminated with immediate effect in accordance with Clause 18 of her contract of employment. She was given one month's salary and was told to return all items of the GA. Because it was alleged that I failed lie detector test. You believe that that was enough Well, I didn't see any result or anything. So I don't know what, that is what I was terminated for. How do you feel about this? I feel it was unfair because it's playing with your honesty and all of that. And it's, it was voluntary, so I don't know. It is shocking. When I went to do it, um, the paper that I had to sign, um, the man said it was voluntary and I signed because I said that I came till in church, don't let me go and do it. And it's nothing because they didn't ask you anything about anything for the entire job or anything. And then last month, um, the 26th of April, um, the CEO called me up in a meeting and told me that um, I failed the polygraph test and you'll have to terminate me and if I have anything to say and I said no. Noble said she now feels like a stigma is attached to her whenever she attends a job interview. For the other jobs and we have interview, um, they ask where was the last place you work and I say GA and then they ask, um, then I have to say I get terminated and then they ask why and then when you have to say you feel like you take a test, it sounds bad and I feel bad and it's dishonesty and all of that. The officers can be fired immediately for willful refusal or neglect inability to perform duties or comply with an ordered disclosure of the GEA's affairs to unauthorized persons and serious misconduct such as bribery, theft, fraud, breach of confidentiality, continued absence for more than three consecutive days, or other behavior which, in the opinion of the agency, is detrimental to its interests. Meanwhile, the opposition parties, the APNU and AFC, are calling for an independent investigation over what they see as the misuse of the polygraph test for the dismissal of the employees. Both parties feel that the polygraph test must not be the only basis for terminating an employee. Reporting for Capital News, Royston Drakes.